Refreshing Stories. I'm Hiroshi. Just between you and me, I was married once. But one Halloween evening, she accidentally sent me a text and, long story short, we got a divorce. I stayed away from dating for a while. But then I met Mika, my new wife. She accepted me for who I was. It was almost our one year anniversary, so I decided to surprise her. But then one day, when I got back from my business trip, I found the blonde hair in our bed. I had black hair, so this was strange. Did I have some blonde hair I didn't know about? You know, down there? I checked, but nothing. Mika, can I ask you something? What? Did you invite someone over? To our house? Why no? I was all alone. Oh, okay. Never mind. What's wrong? Well, I found this blonde hair in our bed. Blonde hair? Yeah, but I have black hair, so... Oh, that. That's probably mine. Huh? Yeah. My mom. She's from the States. So it probably came from me. What? No, she's not. I talked to her over the phone just the other day. She was telling me how much she loved rice. What? Yeah. She was talking about how there were 900 different kinds of rice in Japan. I was on the phone with her for two hours. Two hours? That's like an entire movie! Yeah, she just wouldn't stop talking. I see. So, this blonde hair, you don't know anything about it then? No, it's probably nothing. Okay. She said she didn't know anything about it, but I didn't believe her. There's gotta be a way to get the truth out of her. Then, I came up with this idea. Next Friday, it's all gonna go down. Hey, next Friday, I'm gonna go on a business trip. I leave early in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I won't be home that night. When are you coming home? Saturday night. Okay, no worries. Thanks. You going out on Friday? No, I'll be home. I'll clean up the house. Thanks, babe. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Thanks. Friday morning. Time to strike. I said bye to my wife and left the house early in the morning. Then I snuck back in the house from the back door and hid under the bed. Then, eight hours later, just as my bladder was about to explode, it happened. Someone came inside the house. She was talking to someone in the living room. I texted her to see what she was up to. Hey Mika, just got in. Oh, good. What you up to? Huh? Uh, I'm cleaning the bedroom. Oh, okay. Hey, don't forget to take out the trash in the living room. Oh, okay. What are you up to? Oh, uh... I'm hiding. What? Yeah, it's a long story. I don't understand. I'm watching this TV show. It's a love story, but it's so messed up. Oh, like a love triangle? Yeah. This woman is cheating on her husband, and she invited her boyfriend over to the house. Oh, how terrible. Who does that? <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, relax. It's just a TV show. Yeah, but still, what kind of woman does that? I know, right? I'll send you a link later. Okay. Hey, you got nothing to worry about, okay? I'm all yours, Hiroshi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to cleaning now. Bye. Okay. Five minutes later, it was finally time. It came into the bedroom. I couldn't take it anymore. Plus, I really had to pee. Mika, forget about your husband. Yeah, but he's been texting me non-stop. He's away on business, right? Just ignore him. True that. Let's party then. Hold on, he just texted me again. That woman I was talking about. Here's a pic of her. What the? This is my picture. Alexa, play the music. What's going on? What the? What the hell is this? Da, 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 da. Hey, assholes! What the hell are you doing here? Hiroshi! No, I can explain. Oh yeah? Go on then. I... uh... Give it up! Huh, everyone's cheating on everyone these days. What the hell is wrong with everybody? Hold on. I thought you were gone. Gotcha. I was hiding under the bed the entire time. What? Since when? About nine hours ago. What? Yeah, I told you I was hiding. Oh, you were being serious. Yep, 
I was watching you two the entire time. I see. I had no idea. I was right here. How stupid are you, dumbass? Uh, hold on. You've got this all wrong. You, keep your mouth shut. But... Shut up! If you don't shut your mouth, I'm gonna shut it for you. I'm sorry. He's right. You got this all wrong. Oh yeah? You two are in the same bedroom. Just stop it. But we haven't done anything. <sighs> you serious? Just admit it already. I'm sorry. But it was a one-time thing. And we didn't do anything, so please forgive me. First time? How do you explain that blonde hair from last week then? Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. It's his hair! I can send it to the lab if I want. I'm sorry. I've been cheating on you. No shit. I got all the evidence I need. You're pathetic. I'm really sorry. I thought you were away on business though. That was a lie. And I had the day off anyways. What? You know what today is? Huh? Uh, no? Too bad. It's our one year anniversary. What? Yeah. I wanted to surprise you, but and look how that turned out. I'm so sorry. That's not good enough. You're gonna pay for what you did. But, but it's your fault. You are always so busy with work. That doesn't justify any of this. I'm leaving you. I want a divorce. What? I'll see you in court. Get the hell out! No, please! At least give me a few days. No! Go live with your parents or something. Okay, but don't tell my parents about this, okay? But then, someone walked in. Mika, Hiroshi, happy one year anniversary. I brought you something. What the? What's going on? Ma? Mika? What's going on? Why are you here? I told you. She called me the other day. She offered to help me with a surprise party. What? Why didn't you tell me? Why the hell would I do that? The Roshi was trying to surprise you. I can't believe you betrayed him like this. You're unbelievable. Mom, please. Forget you. I never want to see you again. What? After that, her mom yelled at them for two hours straight. She even made them promise to pay me for damages. She got it in writing. Man, I wasn't expecting this to happen on my one year anniversary. A few months later, the divorce was finalized. Her mom disowned her, and her boyfriend left her. She was all alone now. Her mom still calls me from time to time though. She was so nice to me. She sent me a box of rice every now and then. Anyways, glad that's all over with. At least her mom was a decent person. Time to move on with my life. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!